Our children, without necessarily realizing it, are some of the luckiest people alive. How quickly things have changed. Just 60 plus years ago, life was very different. When the Nazis came and invaded uh, Romania, my father's parents, sister, and two brothers were taken to the concentration camp. There was a, a German soldier that whipped her to get back in her line. He was told that she was used as a, a guinea pig in medical experiments. A scene that he just, he literally couldn't talk about. I'm going to walk probably in my father's shoes when I go now to Poland. A tear in the fabric of, of the earth. Just didn't end. It was football field after football field. I had no idea. The average stay was two hours. We have 100,000 people, 22,000 being killed, but the average stay was two hours. And you understand this factory of death. This past May 2008, 55 men from small towns in northern New Jersey, just outside New York City, embarked on a journey that would take them from their homes to Warsaw first, then the concentration camps at Auschwitz and Birkenau in Poland, and from there directly overnight to the land of Israel to celebrate the 60th anniversary of its founding. Some were children of Holocaust survivors. Some lost members of their family in the Holocaust. Some were relatives of U.S. soldiers who liberated the camps, and some had no direct connection at all. This is their story and journey. 